Vanilla! Twitch Prime. Hi everyone, good afternoon, or noon? No, it's not noon, it's afternoon, but it's very early in the afternoon, uh, for me at least. <laughs> How are y'all doing? I am hyped today, but moderately, moderately hyped. Not like overly hyped, just like the reasonable amount. Because we got uh, Pokemon news. That's exciting. So yeah, how are y'all doing? Hope everyone's doing- I hope my mic is working. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> I didn't check. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be chilling for a bit before the direct starts presentation. I should actually switch scenes now and lower the music a bit more. There we go. That should work. And... Oop, that's the wrong one. There we go. Hi, you see Google, but now I go here. Aha! Uh, I can't full screen it yet. Yeah, we're gonna be chilling on this screen for a little while. Um... Oh, that text is a bit too big. Is that readable? Oh no, it's snapping to the edges. There we go. Is that good? Is that readable? Hopefully. Just 
put some text over there because I can. I have the power. Twenty-three minutes to go. Twenty-three minutes, y'all. I'm gonna get news about Pokemon, uh, uh, what's it called again? BDSP. That's, uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. There we go. And also, uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. This music is too loud for me. Hold on. Fitting music, but... There we go. Hope that's good on the stream side as well. Yeah, today's like very, very early. <laughs> very early stream uh, today. I, I like haven't streamed this early since like another like Nintendo Direct presentation uh, thing. And yeah, afterwards, I don't really know what I'll be up to. I do want to play a video game, but I don't know what exactly. Oh yeah, soon we might have like a, a little update on the overlay that I tend to use, this overlay. Um, I'm hoping to get a little bit of an upgraded look on the clouds and stuff. Uh, very, very soon. So that's exciting. Very, very exciting. I guess I'll look at the Pokemon Twitter while we wait, see if they've said anything. Yeah, I have uh, another browser thing open so I can browse while we're waiting here on the, the presents. Presents presentation. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I hope my audio isn't too different. It might be slightly different than last time, because I uh, yesterday I spent some time uh, moving stuff around in my room, so I'm in a different place in my room, so I don't know if the audio quality is a bit different. I guess that's, you know, one thing this stream will definitely be testing for. Uh, but yeah, Pokemon hasn't really said anything. 13 hours ago they said, uh, they like, oh, here's a reminder that we're gonna have a thing tomorrow. Um, that's basically it, though. Uh, wait, what did they link here? Is this the, uh, page? Yes, yeah, the same page I'm on right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I maybe started stream a bit too early, but I was, like, too excited. So I wanted to- I wanted to just get going. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's, let's do this. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to do a thing. Has that been there for like forever now? I'm guessing it has. Oh, I forgot to open my soundboard. What if I want to make funny sound happen? Open my soundboard. Oh, where is it? Ah, window sound. Sorry about that. 
forgot it does that. It asks me for permission when I open it. Uh, okay. Ha pa 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 pa. Yeah, I don't know what to expect today. I just I'm I don't have any expectations. I just want to hear stuff. I'm just excited for the news, right? Um Yeah, basically. I do okay, my only expectation actually, I do have one, and it's that I hope that BDSP uh, the the Sinnoh remakes uh, aren't just straight up, you know, remasters, and they're like actual remakes, so they actually add things uh, that weren't there in the originals, or tweak things to make them better, and also uh, don't have HMs at all. If they have HMs, they're going to be inherently worse than they could be. So I hope they don't have HMs. <laughs> Hi Marshmallow. They always added new stuff in remakes, but I don't know, this one feels so different from any other remake before. Yeah, it feels closer to like the Let's Go games than like a mainline game to me personally. And I think the reason why is because it's actually being developed by different people than, than all the other remakes, right? It's not Game Freak. They're just like um, directing it, but it's uh, Bandai Namco, I think, who are actually developing it. Uh, so, I mean, not to say that they're going to be bad or anything, right? That doesn't mean anything. Um, in fact, it might be good because it gives Game Freak more time to work on other things. But yeah, I just don't know what to expect uh, or, or what they'll do or if I'm going to be interested at all. Basically, this direct, this Pokemon presentation today will essentially decide if I do get BDSP or not. The devs are a small studio, they also made the animated music video. Wait. Hold on. Wasn't it Bandai Namco? Pokemon BDSP developers. Ilka. Oh. Who's Ilka? Wait, why did I think it was Bandai Namco? Oh, they have worked on the Nier games and Code Vein and Dragon Quest. Huh. Well, I, I assume they weren't the people who made them, but uh, they worked on them. Bandai Namco often works with Nintendo, don't worry. Yeah, I don't know where I got that from. Yeah, I do remember now that they showed Ilka. Uh, Ilka. No. Uh, Pokemon, I guess. It's a Japanese studio, okay. They also worked on Pokemon Home, apparently. Do we have it? Oh, here we go. It's a small development company in Japan. Where did I get Bandai Namco from? I have no idea. I'm so sorry about that. I've probably said that a million times before. That it was Bandai Namco, but it's actually Ilka. Short for I love computer art. Aw. Well, okay, then I don't... Yeah, oh no, Bandai Namco works on Pokemon Go, right? <laughs> Is that it? Hold on. I'm gonna Google Bandai Namco Pokemon. Oh, they worked on Snap? Oh, that might be it. And Pokken. Okay, let me look at the Cerebi page. Okay, yeah, Pokemon Snap and Pokken. Niantic, aka Google, works on Pokemon Go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I remember now. People have been like talking about that on Twitter a bunch. I don't play Pokemon Go, but I follow some people who do. Um, and apparently there have been some changes that people don't like uh, recently in the game. These are like, like the, they made changes for COVID, but now they're bringing it back when it's like COVID hasn't ended yet or whatever, or not whatever, but, or something uh, around that. 
I, I haven't been following it too closely, so don't take me... Uh... Don't keep me to my word too much there. But yeah, okay. Interesting. Well... Yeah, I guess we'll have to see. Um... Okay, I guess I, I just was thinking of Pokemon Snap instead of... Okay. Yeah. Okay, 13 minutes. Let me drink some water. I mean, it's 13 minutes and then there's like the countdown, right? Because it's a premiere and YouTube does those countdowns. A lot of Xenoblade music today. I guess I just have a lot of those songs in this playlist, but also the YouTube playlist randomizer isn't too good. Isn't too good. Um. How are y'all feeling about this direct today? Oh, Junichi Mitsuda just tweeted about the direct. What did he say? Good evening and 15 minutes. That is Google translated. Oh, I see someone with a Zera Aura fursuit on Twitter. Pretty neat. It's actually really well, really well made. Masuda like my fan art ones? Hell yeah. My friend uses the official copyright free extension from Twitch that plays music. One of her VODs got muted anyway. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I tried to use that once and it like got rid of my desktop audio and I never used it again. Um, Like it worked. I, and I mean, when I used it, it didn't even have, you know, music I really wanted to hear. Right? I don't know, I didn't didn't particularly like it. The only music that's given me trouble is like Undertale music, surprisingly. Uh, of the music that I play on stream. I think it's, yeah, basically just, oh, and some uh, Pokemon Moon music, I think? It was the Lily theme, I think, that got, uh, picked up in a VOD once. Um, but I, I, well, there's been some that have been picked up by people who aren't actually the copyright holders, as, as they do. Uh, but Toby Fox actually does that for Undertale music. I was actually surprised to find out Toby Fox, uh, copyright claims. Or he has, like, he, <laughs> his music is part of a thing that copyright claims music, but it's, like, official. It's not, like, you know, like, on my Super Mario 64 stream I had... Someone come in and, like, on the VOD on YouTube, they copyright claimed the castle theme. And they were not, like, what's his name? Koji Kondo? Is that his name? So 64 composer. Who was, yeah, Koji Kondo. It, it wasn't them. It's was someone else entirely. Uh, I googled their name. Had nothing to do with it. It was just, you know. So... What are Toby Fox's pronouns? I think it's he him. I think I think he he goes by he him. But let me check his Twitter. Oh, he doesn't have his pronouns on his Twitter. Does, it, does he have them? Okay, time to Google Toby Fox pronouns. He him. Apparently. So this... Oh, okay. I was confused. Uh, 
Uh, I was just wondering because Toby's main character uses they, them, and Toby is a pretty neutral name. That's true. I didn't know- you mean the annoying dog? I didn't know they go by they, them. <laughs> I, I didn't know the annoying dog's pronouns. I don't think anyone refers to the annoying- Oh, the Undertale protagonist. Oh, well, yeah. Like, the way Toby Fox represents himself in the games is by the annoying dog. Both in Deltarune and uh, Undertale. Though in Deltarune, it's just hidden in a place. But yeah, the Undertale protagonist does go by they, them. They are gender neutral. Both for functional reasons and also just that's the character. Found the instant noodles more annoying? Oh my gosh. I never actually used that item in a playthrough, but I saw someone use it. It's so funny. It's so good. Actually, I don't... I've played Undertale. It was so long ago. It's been like... It was like... I actually streamed it. And I think I was like 14. I'm 20. It Was this... Did I stream Undertale six years ago? Hold on. I think I still have the VOD somewhere. Let me go and check. We have time. Ba, ba, ba. Hopefully, can find this. No, it's not Undertale. 2015! At the end of 2015! Holy shit! It's been like six years. Almost. Holy crap. I streamed Undertale six years ago. That's like one of my first decent streams and it wasn't that good and i i was a silly stupid teenager but that stream series was fun um i used to have the video public on youtube but i i've since privated it because it's old and i wasn't comfortable with it anymore uh, tomorrow my Steam account is gone, so no more- Wait, I dropped Undertale, it was too hard? Tomorrow my Steam account is gone, so no more second chance. Oh, it was too hard? Dang, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, there is a way to make it easier, but it requires grinding. Uh, but if you're interested in that, it's called the Temi Armor. Um, you can probably Google how to get it. it. Basically, it's a way to grind for, like, really strong armor that makes you take very little damage. Uh, but it's like extremely grindy, right? It's for it's for the situation where okay, this boss fight is too hard, so I wanted to play the pacifist route. Yeah, pacifist route is my favorite, right? I mean, it's the only one I played <laughs> actually. <laughs> when I played Undertale, I already knew about the routes, so I, I just did pacifist. I think everyone kind of knows, even if they haven't played the game. The game also kind of incentivizes you to be a pacifist. But yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, Marshmallow. Um, one day, maybe in the future, you should pick it up again. But yeah, just don't worry about it. If you aren't enjoying it, maybe it's not worth it. But the story and stuff of Undertale is really good. Uh, it's one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, for sure. Like, it was an instant classic. It's just so good. Okay, five minutes, y'all. Or four, actually. But yeah, why is your Steam account gone tomorrow? What's happening? That's, that's weird. Did you break the rules? Oh, this is such a good song. Undela Town is like so nice.
three minutes. A lot of Bug Fables music today as well. That's good, because I, I like Bug Fables music. Last month, I changed my email provider and I decided to delete all my accounts that I'm not happy with. Oh, well that's fair. That is very fair. We did Steam, GOG, Battle.net, and Origin. I see. Uh, yeah, that's fair. I mean, yeah. Oh! Crypts! Hi! Wait! Um, uh, you're Ross's friend, right? Right? Yes? Yes? Hi. <laughs> I recognize your username? Let me check. Thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, I follow you on Twitter. Hell yeah. Hi, welcome. Yeah, it's actually about to start the presentation. Two minutes. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Welcome on in. Uh, only use itch.io in the Nintendo eShop. You know what? That's valid. Uh, Steam? I've had Steam for, for, li for like forever. It's like very useful to me. But if you don't find it super useful, then I get it. Um, da, da. Like I have most of my games on Steam, I think. I have like a bunch of Nintendo physical copies. Uh, like Nintendo 3DS, DS, and Switch. And I have a bunch of games on Steam. I have a few on Itch from the Black Lives Matter and the the other bundle, the... What's it called? I forget what the other one's called for Palestine. Um, I have a few on Epic Games, just like the free games they give out every now and then. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fade out the music because we're, we're gonna start soon. I'm gonna remove this text as well. It's gonna start in like 60 seconds, it says. So, no music. <laughs> I do wanna full screen as soon as I can, cause, cause when I full screen, it actually feels the whole screen is pretty epic. But right now there's this bar at the bottom here. Like, oh, my cursor disappears. Oh. Oh, it's very silent now. Maybe I shouldn't have turned off the music. Oh, I'll bring it back, don't worry. There we go, just for a little bit. It's very unsettling how silent it was. <laughs> Hasn't exactly started yet, so... No live chat, uh, which is curious. Usually they have the live chat. I guess they just don't want people to be toxic as hell, because like the Pokemon fandom ever since Sword and Shield came out has been like pretty shitty. Toward developers. I hope everyone's having a good day today so far. I actually woke up like three hours ago? I started streaming like two hours and a half after waking up. I haven't even eaten lunch because my sleep schedule is so skewed that like I wake up kind of late and then I eat breakfast kind of late and I'm when it's like lunchtime I, I'm not hungry. So after the the presentation I'll probably actually take a break to go eat lunch before we we switch to a different game. Okay, I'm surprised it hasn't started yet because it's time. Okay oh ah it's so loud why is it so loud okay Jesus Christ why does it say two why does it say two? Two. Uh, 1080p 60. I'll put it 720 for now. Actually, 1080p 60 should be fine. No one's using the internet. Uh, we'll make it sharper on stream. I hope everything looks nice on the stream. Why does it say two? Can I get a two in the chat? Why does it say two? Can anyone explain this to me? Why does it say two? 
on Twitter. There we go. Oh, 60. Oh, there it goes. Oh, heck. I hope it looks good on stream. If there are any visual issues, do you tell me. <sighs> so it's a countdown, I understand. It's so funny how it cut in and it just said two. <laughs> it's like, two. This is still like so loud. My glasses are dirty. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. This feels like a Jackbox game. All right, let's go, everyone. It begins. Pokemon presents. Hello, everyone. Oh. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of games. Excitement. First, oh look, it's the starters from about Pokemon's from the... first strategic team battle game. Oh, Pokemon it's going to be Unite News. The Nintendo Switch version of the game has already been released, and the release of the mobile version has yep, been set game... for September 22nd. It was all right. <laughs> In anticipation of the mobile version launch, pre-registration has begun today on the App Store and Google Play Store. Nintendo Switch and mobile device users can play together in Pokemon Unite. We hope as many people as possible... MOBAs on enjoy phones games. is like a weird Players concept. Because like phones have like no battery. Based on the number of people who pre-registered for the mobile version. Thanks to a special campaign happening now. We I, hope you'll all pre two million, do you expect to the 5 million to pre-register? Holy shit. Players who are quick to jump in with the Nintendo Switch version that has already been released can also receive Zera Aura's Unite license as a launch yep. bonus. Okay. Unite license can also be used in the mobile version by linking accounts. And finally, I'd like to give you all a preview of some of the Pokemon that are slated to join in future updates. Okay. Mamoswine. I mean, uh, you know, Pokemon Unite is like... A game designed to make kids spend their parents' money. Uh, and it's not that fun. Sylveon is a cool addition, right? But, like, I kind of wish this wasn't Pokemon Unite. You know what I mean? I'm not very, like... It's, it's just Pokemon Unite. I don't... Look forward to more from Pokemon Unite in the future. I, I now, won't, I'd but... like to share some news about a few of our All right. other games. Here we go. Oh, Cafe Mix is getting a revamp. I haven't ever played Cafe Mix, but it looks very cute. Pokemon Cafe Mix is getting a revamp, and with it, a new title. Pokemon Cafe Remix. Wait, what was it called before? The puzzles have been refreshed with the addition of new elements with which you can mix, link, and blast puzzle icons. Huh. This game does look very cute. Be tons of Pokemon new to Pokemon Cafe Remix. Very cute. And the visual design of this game is cute. You'll also and find good. more ways of growing and developing your staff Pokemon, so this renewed puzzle game is sure to be something that can be enjoyed for years to come. Yeah. Pokemon Cafe Remix will open its doors this What was it called before? Wasn't it called Cafe Remix? I don't know. Pokemon Masters is two years old already? Oh look, it's N! Yo, N, your clothes! Also, this audio is really Pokemon low. Pokemon Masters EX celebrates its two-year anniversary. Dynamaxing is here! Cygna Suit Leon has Cygna died, Suit? Up with Eternatus. Why does Leon have Eternatus? Hold on! Legendary event currently underway. Oh, they have a different... Okay, they have a different version of the ending of Sword and Shield. Okay. <laughs> to celebrate the two-year anniversary of Pokemon Masters, yes, a lot of characters. players will get the chance to scout up to 100. I was like, why does Leon have? Lost. Plus, three different legendary events are returning huh. at once, meaning players can team up with three legendary Pokemon. Neat. I guess. 
N will be returning in a special outfit as part of a master. And looks pair. very cool. Oh, the remix. Able to target all opponents with their attacks. Look forward the to end theme the remix. As well as other two year anniversary sync pairs soon. Oh, I should put subtitles on. Then, starting in September, a new story arc unfolds. Oh wait, that's not readable on stream, is it? Thing. It's not gonna work. I'm sorry. Takes a darker turn. I don't have it set you up for that. <laughs> we have plenty of Didn't other events of it. and exciting content planned as well. So come join us in celebration of this special anniversary. Also, if you log into the game after this presentation, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems as our newest campaign begins. You won't want to miss it. I guess they're just going through everything else. Pokemon Are they going to talk about Pokemon Sleep? Celebrating its fifth anniversary, we'll have Pokemon that were first discovered in the Galar region appearing in the wild. The Ultra Unlocked Very Earth nice. 3 Sword and Shield event will begin on August 20th, oh, 2021 oh, at 10am local time. They're here. Can look forward to they're real. Blue, Squavit, and Phalanx during the event. The legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta will also be appearing in 5-star raids. It seems that the sudden appearance of Pokemon originally discovered in the Galar region has something to do with the mischievous tricks of a certain mythical Pokemon. Be sure to take part in these events and discover the truth behind these curious appearances. Huh. Adventures in the real world That's how they tie it in to, in to the lore. Go. Real world lore. Hoopa is real. I can't believe they've made Pokemon real. Pretty epic. Next up. We have some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cute. Oh, that's loud. The audio balance on this presentation is weird. Very cute. Friends. Whoa! Powerful. Oh, that's so cute! Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Oh, it's got the classic sound. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Yes, yeah, so this is the trailer. Or something. Alright. Oh, depth of field. Oh, that's beautiful! Why is the ground so shiny? Now go. Hi, Maddie. Pokemon. Okay, that's the bike. Pokemon to follow you around. That's cool. Hell yeah. Hug Score Bunny. I will in a second, but I'm looking at this. I'm gonna hug. Hope you're doing well, Maddie. Score Bunny has been hugged. Okay, the gym, it looks basically the same. Okay. Looks very cool in battle. Okay, so this is basically stickers? Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's how they tie it in. Wait, they're bringing back the union room? <gasps> okay, trainer customization, yes. Contests are back, that's cool. That's cool. That's really good. Oh, and they're like rhythm games. Wait, they're rhythm games. Explorers kit. Yes, the underground is back. It probably. Okay, that looks about the same. Oh, secret bases. Whoa. Pokemon mystery dungeon. No, I don't know what this is. That looks cool, but I have no idea what it is. That's new, I think. I don't remember that being in Platinum. Sound? Team Galactic, okay. Yo, this music! Yo, this battle stage! He really went all out with this trailer, huh? Cynthia looks so cute! <laughs> it's 
space time. Okay. Okay. There they are. Trans rights, hell yeah! And yeah, thank you, Angelica. Yep, box art looks good. See you no battery? Alright, Maddie. Thanks for stopping by, always appreciate it. Ha -ba 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 -ba. The release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl is now just three months away. Let's review the main points of these revitalized games. Yeah, they didn't show HMs, which is after 15 years. The audio Pokemon is lower. Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been reborn into Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. Uh huh. Okay, this is another sort of this gameplay trailer. This takes place in the Sinnoh region, a land rich in nature with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, Looks nice. you'll adventure across like the visually. region, catching wild Pokemon the UI and is making cute. new friends as you strive to complete your Pokedex. Along with your partner Pokemon, you'll overcome the gym leaders of each area and aim to become the champion. You'll also encounter traces of the Sinnoh region's myths, passed down through the generations, and unravel the truth behind their mysteries. <laughs> the chibi characters in the main world feel so weird in this the overworld. Is Professor Rowan, who entrusts you with a Pokemon. <laughs> very cute, but also He's so silly. Professor researching Pokemon evolution. This is your childhood friend and rival. He hones his skills as a Pokemon trainer through your friendly rivalry. Yeah, got Barry. Rourke is one of the gym leaders you'll take on during your journey. He uses rock type Pokemon. Everywhere you look, Team Galactic is up to something. There appears to be some sort of lofty goal behind all their audacious activity. Cynthia is Cynthia looks so cute. <laughs> about Pokemon. She's a mysterious As a chibi. person who shows up at many points along your journey. Mischievous person? I don't feel like she's mischievous. Or maybe I misunderstood. From Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been revealed. This rhythm game looks nice. For these new games. In the Grand Underground, you can participate in a number of activities, such as digging up fossils or creating your own secret base and decorating it with Pokemon statues. There are also places down there called Pokemon Hideaways, Hideaways. which didn't exist in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the Pokemon that appear in the Pokemon Hideaways will change depending on which statues you have placed in your secret base. Interesting. It seems some of the Pokemon living in the Sinnoh region can only be found in this place. So be sure to fully explore the grand underground spread out beneath the surface of Sinnoh. Okay, I, I like that idea. You can use the stickers you'll collect on your adventure to customize the effects that appear when Pokemon spring out of Pokeballs. Such as <laughs> confetti cute. or fireworks. By collecting stickers at various locations along your journey and decorating with them, you can make your Pokemon battles even more fun. That's nice. One new feature that was not available in Pokemon Diamond the fashion is and Pokemon cool. Pearl is the ability to change your outfit. Wear your favorite styles on your adventure. So they only showed styles. Are they like preset shows, outfits? Your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm of the music, proudly show off a contest. This is very cute. And aim for a successful show. Cooperate with your partner Pokemon to really work up the crowd. The contests seem very promising. In the Union Room. This release allows you to use not only local communication, but also online communication to interact with trainers all over the world in real time. Please enjoy battles and Pokemon trades with huh. many other trainers. That's probably cool. You can walk around with any of the Pokemon that appear in these games. Enjoy That's your journey too. through Sinnoh together with your partner Pokemon. Have we seen any Pokemon past Gen 4? Because I don't remember. Encounters Dude, that's pretty. All kinds of people and Pokemon and the mystery behind Sinnoh's Because if there's no new Pokemon, then I'm not interested. 
the very We hope you look forward to starting an exciting adventure with new gameplay features in the Sinnoh region. There's nothing much new to like the, the main game it seems, just like the side content. Please wait just a bit longer for the start of your adventure. Yeah, okay. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite Dialga and Palkia edition will also be released oh. to celebrate the launch of these games. This special Nintendo that looks Switch nice. Lite is dressed up with art of the legend I feel like we've seen that before. Dialga and Palkia, bringing to mind the special Nintendo DS Lite Onyx Dialga and Palkia ah. edition that was released back in 2006 to align okay. with the original game's launch. It will be available to purchase beginning November 5th, 2021. Look That's cool. Next, we have some information for you about the Pokemon Legends okay. Arceus game. This is the one I'm the most excited for. By game Freak. Yeah, unfortunately, BDSP a little bit just kind of... It's all right, I guess. Let's see this. Whoa! Whoa! It's so loud. They have no audio balance on this stream. Holy shit. Feels like a bunch of people worked on the separate parts and they didn't balance it out when they put it together. Uh, okay. Oh wow. That is beautiful. Ah. Oh wow. Oh, there's the player. Wow, this is beautiful! Whoa, that's new! Huh. A town. Or a village. <laughs> wow, this looks beautiful. Huh, so you don't fight them to catch them. I, whoa, wait, Growlithe? Growlithe looks so different. It looks... Are they gonna have, like, prehistoric, or not prehistoric, but old versions of Pokemon, like... Or is it like a Sinoian Growlithe? What? Talonflame? Or not Talonflame, Braviary. You can fly! What? Is that a Basculin? I'm gonna call these Sinoian versions of the Pokemon the Stantler. I'm guessing this is Sinoian Stantler. Yo. That's so cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm getting chills. Oh. Pokemon have been angered. Oh, they fight you! Because they've been angered. Holy shit, y'all! Why did they mix Okami and Pokemon together? No, I'm just kidding, but... Just a traditional Japanese style of music, I guess. The Growlithe is so cute. Wow. Wow, this game looks wonderful. Holy shit. Oh, 
Oh, this is a box art. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wonderful. January? January? Are you serious? <laughs> already? That was the latest trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus. January? Had they already said it was January? Let's take a closer look at some of the elements introduced in the video. I knew it was like next year. I, I don't know if I already knew it was January. Pokemon Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. This looks so good. Hi, Ona, by the way. I don't know if I said anything. Hisui. When it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon, Mount Coronet Tower is called the Sinnoh? center of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments surrounding the mountain on all sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. I guess maybe it's the old the future, name for Sinnoh. The land of Hisui will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. Okay. You'll set out on an adventure with the goal of completing the, the first ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. Jubilee Village? The bustling Jubilee Village will be the base for your adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made Galaxy up of Expedition from various team? other regions. Huh, okay, I see divisions, what you're doing. Such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokemon. Galaxy Team. Professor Laventon's field of study is the ecology of Pokemon. He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon. It's gonna be so hard to pick a starter. <laughs> he entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. Yeah, no, I'm super hyped for Captain this game. Eileen is the leader of the Survey Corps. Though she may seem so different. harshly, deep down she's your biggest supporter, and she watches over your progress with care. Commander Komodo oversees the entire Galaxy team. He's a dependable Galaxy leader who has earned team. the unwavering trust of Their the logo looks like the Team Galactic When the commander thing. recognizes your knack for Pokemon research, he allows you to join the team and has you work as a member of the Survey Corps. God, I'm gonna love playing that game. The duty of the Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure, and in the course of your work, you'll visit various locations within the Hisui oh. region. Fast travel? Your excursions outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic Oh, you, there's crafting. <sighs> Oh my god, y'all. You'll, you'll be vulnerable to attacks from wild Pokemon. Take too much damage from their attacks, and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out doing your survey work. When your Pokemon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. That's interesting. Once you've completed a survey assignment, return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. <clears throat> Pokemon live all over the place. Get close to them and aim carefully. Wow, this game is beautiful. To catch them. You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee. That makes you'll sense. You'll want to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. Pokemon battles. Okay, I'm excited about this because I seem to. One of your own Wait, what's that X menu? Pokemon and a battle will begin. Oh, it's the Pokemon the you had selected. Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row. Wait, action order? That and the moves that it uses. You can also choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles: strong style and agile style. Using a move in the strong style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile style will decrease the move's power. Holy but shit! The Pokemon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move. While the Agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy a real boost. Holy shit! So okay. Styles as the situation demands to gain the upper hand in battle. They're adding the. Isn't that like a Final Fantasy thing? When you report or the results of your survey to the professor, game information will be added to the Pokedex. 
You can advance your research and fill in sort more of. information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing them use certain preferred foods, and more. Seek out oh, this looks lovely. Pokemon to complete that Pokedex. Oh, that lava zone. Wow, this is oh my goodness, y'all! Holy we'd shit! Like to introduce some of the Pokemon living okay. in the rich natural environment. So Hisuian across the Hisui region. This Pokemon with oh, they're different. Antlers is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer. Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the harsh natural oh, environment. Oh, it's an evolution to Stantler! It has strong ties with the local people. They added the Stantler evolution. Been care and respect in this land since ancient times. Garments made with the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. This Pokemon is Basculegion. They add an evolution. Swim with great power. <sighs> Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed oh of the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. This Pokemon gains power from the souls of the ghost, letting it swim on and on without tiring. There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Pokemon is Hisuian, majestic wings Hisuian, Hisuian Braviary. Oh my gosh, y'all. It comes to Hisui in the winter and That's can so in cool. with psychic power to generate shockwaves. It's quite psychic, all right. This Pokemon, which Hisuian works with Growlithe. a partner, is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. That is so it's silly. It's a very wary Pokemon and appears to protect its territory. Hisuian Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator, allowing it to stay active and lively even in this chilly land. The horn on its head is made of rock, but it breaks easily, so Hisuian Growlithe uses it only when Wait. it will have the greatest effect. Is it part rock? The Pokemon Arceus holds the key to this story. But what connection does it have to your adventure? That is a good we question. Look forward to finding out on the day when you can finally meet the people I am so hyped. of the Hisui region for yourself. Yep. <laughs> Those were our latest updates on these new entries in the Pokemon series. Pre-orders for Pokemon Legends Arceus, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and Pokemon January Shining Pearl will become available on Nintendo eShop after this broadcast. I'm definitely going to pre-order the physical of Legends Arceus. I'm not sure I'll we get like uh, BDSP. For these titles is planned to come to Pokemon Arceus. Okay. Cloud service for Nintendo Switch and compatible cool. mobile devices in 2022. That's good. Keep an eye on our upcoming announcements for further details. Oh my gosh. As for the ranked battles that so many of you continue to enjoy, these will take place as before in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We hope you all have fun participating okay. in more competitive play. In so Sword and Shield will be the main competitive those are multiplayer all the updates we can share with you today. game. So I guess both of those aren't like really mainline games exactly. Because you can't you can't Thank do battles with other players. Or maybe you can, who knows. Well, that was it. Wow, that was... So... The... BDSP news were alright, I guess. Like, it's just more interesting stuff. I like the little underground habitats that they have. Um, that's actually... Can we, can we watch the VOD of this now? Oh, that's, that's something else. Uh, yeah, okay. So... Yeah, let's watch the full vibe here. Forward to starting an yeah, so these adventure. underground environments are so cool. Play features in the Sinnoh region. Go over here, maybe. Participate in a number of activity places down there called yeah. Pokemon Hideaways. The Hideaways. Which didn't exist in Pokemon Diamond. They're pretty Pokemon neat. Pearl. But that's like the only new thing, right? I guess the rhythm game part of the contest is also new. And the way that you do capsules is new. But I didn't see any like newer Pokemon. I wouldn't. I would consider this like sort of like a Let's Go game, right? Because Let's Go didn't have any new Pokemon. It was still fun, but yeah. I don't know if I'll be getting BDSP. Uh, this kind of put the nail in that. It looks cool though. Um... We didn't see HMs like at all, which. 
maybe has me worried. If they still have HMs, it might be bad. Uh, and then this is just wonderful. And there's some lightning for some reason. Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. I do like this. Um, this map is also really nice. So you can see a lot of the areas actually that were shown in the thing. Wow, this looks beautiful. I love the art style, right? It's very good. During a long ago era when it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon, wavering trust of his team members. When the commander recognizes your knack for Pokemon research, he allows you to Looks join beautiful. the team and has you work as a member of the Survey Corps. So this was before they... Be, so the, 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 the historical placement of Pokemon Legends is before Pokemon and humans started to live together. Though doesn't Sinnoh, like... Say that Pokemon and humans have lived forever and they used to be one and the same? Did they at one point separate for some reason? And then they had to come back together? Hmm. I'm curious. Can we look at the UI here? So you can choose what you're holding, which is neat. There's like a phone. <laughs> you have a smartphone, as you do. Uh, you have, I'm guessing that's items and trainer card, and that's to save there. I think that's saving. Why do you have a phone, though? Try to catch them. Huh? You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately It looks very beautiful. So to hide in tall grass when you approach them. And the game does like look better than the first time they showed it off. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be it for now. Um Yeah, we basically watched it. Throw a Pokéball containing one of your own Pokémon near a wild Pokémon just... and a battle will begin. You'll find that yeah, this as well, the action order. That's wild. Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. You can also That's gonna change things up so much. Moves in two different styles, strong style and I'm really excited for this. The UI looks really cool too. Strong style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the agile style will decrease the move's power. I like the the remix of the battle theme as well. Will be raised. You'll find the strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move. While the agile That's style so cool. I'm so excited, y'all. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go into a BRB screen. I'm gonna close this. Oop. I'm gonna go into a BRB. Oh, why is the background like that? Don't know. Oh. oh, I guess there's nothing back there, so it's just black. Okay, anyways, I'm going to go into this BRB screen. I'll get some music going. Um, and I'll go eat lunch. I'll go have a break for a little bit. Let me get the music. There we go. Yeah, I'll go eat lunch. I'll have a, a, a short break, and then I'll come back and we'll play something else. That was wild. Um... Really excited for uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Alright, I'll see y'all in a bit.